Hello and greetings. On this video, I'll show how you activate your SSL certificates for a only office using a Docker. On this server, I'm, I'm using a Ubuntu 16.04, but I've tried it on uh, Debian's and also uh, Mint's, and they work fine. So let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, so you can actually see, so let me zoom in. Okay, so here you can actually see it. I have it active. And it, if you notice, I only have HTTP. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in so we can see it active. And you can see, I mean, the server itself is active. And this is gonna be the, the server we're gonna be adjusting. Let me sign out. And let me put this aside so we can actually bring in the terminal. So let me close this out. So I'm going to SSL over to using a, my terminal. Whoops. SSH. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so here we are logged in. Let me go ahead and clear this. So just something to keep in mind is wherever you create you start your certificates um that's where you want to download everything and continue and then you can actually move those files over to a folder so with that said i'm actually going to be starting on my home folder here and that's where i'm going to start basically loading all my files the first thing you're going to want to do is enter a open SSL and we're going to generate RSA and our output we want that what the name of the output or the file is going to be I'm going to call this only office just to keep it consistent dot key so that's going to be the file that's going to be generated and then I'm going to be using 2048 the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clear this first and then the next command I'm going to so it's going to be open SSL dash new dash key and then the name of the file the one that we just created which was only office dot key and then I want what file I want it output to. Okay, the word out. And I'm going to change the last the extension to C CSR. Okay. Hit enter. And then you're going to enter here your country of origin. Mine is US. And then your state. Mine is in Texas city organization the department on mine is going to be IT uh, and then the name that this certificate is going to be linked to the full qualified do domain name on this I'm going to call this uh, open uh, OpenOffice dot. And I'm gonna continue with the with the testing that I'm doing, and it's gonna be local dot test. That's the test. Of, that's the name of the local test, a local domain that I'm running on. So it can be on that. Hit enter for for email. Hit enter for challenge uh, password, and again enter just on this. So now that that's done, let me clear this. The next thing is I'm going to actually generate all the files. And for this, I'm just going to copy and paste because I already have everything on the site. And I'll put on descriptions below. So here is going to be OpenSSL X508 request. How many days I want this to be for 10 years? 3,065, 650 days. 
and then here's the the key or the, the search that I want and then my key is here and when my output is going to be here hit enter there it is if it's generated now we're going to run the last command which is open the phrase okay so once we get this going which I'm going to have descriptions here hit enter this is going to take a little bit of time so, cause it has okay so as promised it did take a while so now let me go ahead and clear this and now if I do an LS you'll notice that here's the last file that I created here is all the, the search certificates and the key okay so all four files were generated so then the next thing we're gonna do here is create a a search folder where we can actually put the certificates in which is going to be in the community uh, server folder so sudo make directory and then this is going to be on my app folder only office community server data and the folder is going to be called search hit enter there we are now we, we what we want to do let me clear this so it's not cluttered what I want to do now is copy the basically all the keys to that search folder and I just dump them all in there that way it's I know for a fact that they're all there so I'm gonna sudo copy everything to that same folder hit enter once I have that the last thing I'm gonna do is do a uh, n sudo init 6 or you could just type in sudo reboot but init 6 and hit enter you can see the, the extra connection was dropped let me zoom out this to the side and then you bring over the internet browser again so if I go to 192 that one's safe dot one there goes that one that 31 you're gonna notice I don't have no connection okay and at the end it's going to give me there it is you can see now it's, it's kicking in now we're gonna go ahead and give it time for to boot now you can see here once finally it it resets it's telling you that it's an invalid certificate that's because it's obviously it's, it's not registered it's just an internal I, ip address we're going to go ahead and click on continue continue anyways and you'll notice now we're going to be greeted by a https let me let me zoom in closer so there we go https let me lock it there um See here, I'm into my password. Boom. And there we are. We're logged in on an HTTPS. Now it's officially moved over, and now we can actually link more stuff to it. Again, all that good jazz. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.